Hi everyone, and welcome to this demonstration video of the Aero 3. I'm Mark, I'm from the marketing team, and I'm here today with Charles Ray, our Global Field Operations Manager. We're going to talk quickly about the Aero 3, and then we're going to do a test flight so we can demonstrate all the features of this new drone that we are demonstrating today. So, as you can see, the design of the Aero 3 has quite changed regarding the Aero 2. Um, and let's start with with the payload. So can you tell us a little bit more about what's new on the payload? The new thing about the payload is uh, the stability system. So first, we are not using the same kind of sensor that we used in the past. We are relying on three cameras, high definition camera in front of the drone uh, that will rely on VIO, so visual odometry, to stabilize the drone, meaning a way better stability in many, many environments. Okay, and the payload itself, so the camera, is, is the same that on the Helios 2, right? Camera and the thermal camera are the same on Helios 2. However, the feedback on the tablet as a live stream will be better. What about the, uh, the LEDs? Uh, I see there's complete redesign of it. Yeah, so there are four panels of LEDs uh, that give you the same possibility uh, than Helios 2, meaning close-up light, dust proof lighting, and oblique lights. Uh, that you can control on the tablet and on the remote control as an Helios 2. They are in front of the drone outside of the cage, so that's a big improvement compared to Helios 2, uh, because then you do not have the reflection on the cage anymore. The camera also has a completely unobstructed vision, straight up, straight down, and that's one of the biggest improvements in terms of camera between Helios 2 and Helios 3. So still the same design with the cage. Can you tell us a bit about collision resilient and Helios 3? It has the same collision resilience as on Helios 2, meaning you can still have a full speed co collision with the drone against the ceiling, the floor, or the wall. The camera, as you can see, is really well protected with those kind of small dampers on the two sides. And you have some dampers at the bottom of the camera also to stabilize the video. Still the same flight controller, so uh, the other three can actually go uh, flip upside down and recover from that without crashing. So that's a, a patent pending flight controller and reversing motors that we have here. Exact. The biggest change is that now the motors are inside ducts that will reduce the sound of the drone by, by about 20 decibels and also give you more power, so it will recover easier Helios 3 than Helios 2. Obviously, the, the thing that uh, strikes me when I look at Helios 3 is the LiDAR. Uh, that, that's a huge improvement. Can, can you tell us a bit more about the LiDAR and what it is used for? Yeah, the LiDAR will uh, do two main things. First, it will uh, allow you to have a live map when you fly, so you know exactly where you fly, you know your trajectory. So if you fly twice at the same area, you can exactly see where the first flight was and where you are at the second flight. So that's the first big improvement. You have a point cloud in live stream. The second improvement is that it's recorded and by using GeoSlam after, you can have a full point cloud and you can do all the measurement, volumetry or distance measurement with this one. Okay, so really uh, live feedback on, uh, that is improving situational awareness when you're flying and survey grade point cloud uh, if you're using that for volumetry or volume measurement in general. So, and what about ingress protection? So our clients are usually flying in very harsh environment. Can you tell us uh, a bit more about that? Yeah, so as we are flying in place that could have water dropping, that have a lot of dust, we have done a real work over the drone to have it more uh, waterproof and dust resistant. So you can see on the drone, it's completely covered. So there is no way the water would enter from over it. So it makes the drone way, way more waterproof and dust resistant. With Helios 2, we, our evaluation was that we were at EP42, and now we are more about EP45. All right, last thing. Um, so the battery casing has been completely redesigned. Can you tell us a bit more about this new battery? Yes, so this new battery uh, will look like that with a clip in, on it. So you will put the, the battery from the front of the drone and you will clip it inside the uh, drone. This way you make sure it will not move. You are sure that it's correctly connected. And with the battery itself, you have a button and the BMS of the battery will give you different information from state of charge to health of the battery and the possibility to discharge the battery for storage and for traveling. All right, uh, flight time? Flight time, nine minutes with the lighter on. If you remove the lighter because you want to fly further and for a longer time, you can fly up to 12 minutes. And to remove the lighter will take about five minutes max. 
So about 20 to 25 percent uh, flight time increase compared to Helios 2 for a comparable uh, setting. But that's interesting. You mentioned removing the LiDAR. So what is special about that? I see there is an auxiliary port at the back as well. Yep. So as the drone is right now, you just remove the LiDAR and plug it. But with the auxiliary port, you will be able to put other payload on the drone. Uh, in the future, uh, we'll uh, have new payload with time, depending on the need of the market. That's very exciting news. I'm really looking forward to see that thing fly. So let's go and, and get a test flight, right? Yep.